Right then, Josh, let's see how you've done. Perfect start. Oh, where did that kilogram come from? It is grams, isn't it? Nothing there uh, over a kilogram. Um, if you'd have put no units there, you would have got full marks. So I'm not going to penalise you for putting the wrong units there. Um, so basically, you have got full marks for that first page, which is 10, 14. Well done. There's a straightforward method for working that out. Watch the video clip, you'll get it, no problem. That is correct. This is a special word that you need to know. If you have a line that touches the circumference of a circle, it's called a tangent. That is a pentagon, cylinder and triangle at prism. Four marks for the page. 7.6 is good enough. Um, this isn't perpendicular means at right angles too. Now that quite clearly isn't a 90 degree angle. What you need to do is take a clear ruler, if you haven't got one, buy one, and use one of the longer lines on it to match up with the line PQ. If you then slide that till it meets R, what you've got is a line which is going to be at right angles. And if you put a little box there as well, that shows examinate you know what you're doing you should be able to do those if you have a look at what I've done on the video I'm sure you'll think oh yeah I can do that yes that's what we want to see that you were saying how high that man is in real life so that is good the only problem I've got is that you haven't then given me the units of the bendy bus and that we need okay so you're going to get three out of four for that okay it's important that you have that unit in there uh, that is correct that is correct that is correct and nicely laid out so well done for that and that is six days as well so well done for that 10 marks for the page good page Okay, this work is known as algebra in context. Have a look at me answering that question on the video. Then go to that section in the Jones and Sums topic page and have a go at some yourself. And you'll quickly see how straightforward those are. This is 20 plus 10, not to the power of nine, but times nine, okay? And then when you're working out um, combined arithmetic like that, using bodmus, the multiply, m, always comes before the add. So that would then be 20 plus 90, which is 110. Can't give you any marks for that. These are exchange rates, pretty straightforward. Watch what I've done. Have a look for exchange rates on the website and um, there's plenty of those to practice. Correct, correct, correct. Uh, so you've got three there, two there. Have a look at what I've done on the uh, my video clip for that one. I'm sure it'll make sense to you. This isn't foil. You won't be asked foil on a foundation tier paper. This is just simplifying algebra. Watch what I do. Have a look for simplifying algebra on the website and you'll be fine. That is six. This is correctly plotted, but you need to join the graph up. Okay, so for full marks, you would need to go through those points. You get your mark for that. You get your um, one for that, but you don't get the final bit for that because you haven't um, joined the dots. That's just trial and error. 
this one have a look at what I've done on the website two marks not on the website on the video um, nothing there I'm pretty sure you should be able to make some progress there and there and there so I reckon you have given yourself enough time there to do yourself justice okay marks of the paper Josh 14 18 19 29 34 36 you're going really well but you ended up with 36 out of 100 36 out of 100 is an F okay so we just need you to make sure you're setting yourself enough time to give this as the questions get harder the more time that they need for you to get your head around them.